Hi, I'm Justin Gubo with Precision Agri Services, and today we're going to talk about a product from Precision Planting called Symphony Nozzle System. It is a PWM style nozzle control for sprayers to allow your sprayer to be an individual nozzle and rate controlled system uh, with the pulsating nozzles. It's, it is becoming a more common thing in the industry um, across uh, other OEMs, and Precision is, has released their own form of that system. So, with Precision Planting's nozzle by nozzle system, you're able to run your Gen 3 2020, which most people are similar with in their planters, their combines, and even some side dressers uh, over the years here. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you kind of the functionalities of them. So when I turn this system on, the PWM nozzles are gonna start pulsating. So these pulsating nozzles are running at 10 hertz a second. So they're opening, they're, they're running, they're opening and closing 10 times a second. And if you look right now at the screen here, it talks about the duty cycle. The duty cycle is how, how much open they are within that second. So right now the duty cycle is about 42.5% of the duty cycle of that nozzle. So 100% would be that nozzle open 100% of the time, all the time, and that duty cycle would be full maxed out flow. So if you look here, I'm only going 6.2 mile an hour. So if I go and take the speed, and I increase that speed up, and let's just say I go to, let's just go 8.5 mile an hour if we can try to get that in here. So we get to eight and a half mile an hour, or eight two, we'll see that the duty cycle has, has increased. But what we're able to do is we're able to keep a consistent rate and consistent pressure of the system whenever we're doing that. We're just opening the nozzle system more. So if you listen to the clicking of the nozzle, the clicking is happening much more fluently. Versus if I slow it down, you can see that they're, they're definitely slowing down. They're, they're not as open as long. So the other thing with the Symphony nozzle system is on the rate control side, it gives you the flexibility to run different rate sections. So most people have a lot more weed presence around the outside uh, of the fields. So whenever they like to come in and spray, they like to have to be able to increase that rate of that uh, herbicide product that they're putting on for better weed control. So you can come into the system, like right now, it's set up as a single rate. The whole entire sprayer would be spraying it at 20 gallon an acre. Now, if you take the system, the sprayer, and you start turning with it, the system will slow down and speed up to get the exact rate per nozzle across the system. If I go to multi-mode, you can see I have three different commands here. For instance, I got a 15 gallon, a 20 gallon, a 25 gallon, just to show you the versatility of the system. So if you wanted to set your outside 15, 20 feet of your sprayer up to put on 20 gallon, where the rest of your planter sprayer is putting on 15 gallon for around the outside of the field, you can come in here in a multi-mode, put the system on here and say, I want these drive sections at 20, I want this drive section at 15. The nozzles will apply that. If I come here to home, you'll see on the bottom of the screen here, we're at 15 here, we're at 20 here. Okay, I get done spraying the outside of the field. I wanna change my rate back so the whole sprayer sprays the same. I come back to single mode of 20 gallon, hit home, it'll all adjust itself out. You'll see everything flowing the same on all the nozzles. That's how the system's controlled. There's a lot of things that we can adjust behind the scenes um, to fine tune things, but that's, a, that's the basic operations uh, of the Gen 3 and the pulsating nozzle control. So I'm gonna go in and talk about the architecture uh, of what that is. So I'm gonna shut this off for a second. So on the harnessing side of things, uh, what we have is, is a PDM, a brain box, what we're used to on the planters. Um, that's gonna be mounted on the back of the sprayer. And then out of that brain box, we're gonna have harnessing that just comes out and feeds each uh, section uh, of that sprayer. So when I mean section, I mean, mean folding section. So you're gonna have a center section, you're gonna have a left side and a right side of that sprayer. And basically out of there, you're gonna come out with a six pin Deutsch connection. That harness is gonna come in and, and, and flow all the way to the left wing and you're gonna plug into the first module. One of these modules controls up to four individual pulsating nozzles. So once you get four nozzles plugged into this, you'll put an extension harness to the next module, for instance here, and you'll plug four more in and you just keep daisy chaining those together all the way down that section until you get to the end. And that is how the, the architecture works. Now on these nozzle bodies, they are designed from precision planting directly. They're their they're proprietary nozzle. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to work on a nozzle, take one apart and so forth. So the life expectancy of a nozzle is about 600 hours uh, of runtime. So I'm gonna pile the wire, pull the solenoid off and pull the plunger. So this is the plunger that sits inside of that PWM valve assembly. This is what has the 600 hour life to it. Uh, with this system, whenever that 600 is up and we go to replace it, all you do is take this practice, take it out. You would throw this away. 
This is a very in, 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 inexpensive piece of equipment to add into this system. So you plug it back in, put the solenoid back on, put clip in place, plug it back in, and you're off and running. So the big thing that guys care about is maintenance and runtime. You know, some of this stuff in the newer technology, it's all about, hey, I want to be able to keep, keep up and running. So if a nozzle goes down, what do I do? Well, you can simply see how easy it is if a solenoid fails or a, or a plunger gets stuck that you can just come, repair that real quick, get back up and run, and you're not down for hours waiting for stuff. So overall, I mean, it's a very simplistic architecture, very simplistic valve that Precision is offered, and you get the benefit of the Gen 3 2020 that we know has worked very well on the planters and combines over the years. So uh, if you have any questions, please contact Precision Agri Services. Mm -hmm.